What do you mean it didn't take? Uh, it didn't, what do you mean uh, it didn't take? What didn't take? My apology didn't take. It didn't, she didn't want to hear it. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. I, what do you mean? I'm here. Am I kidding you? Come, come, come inside. It's freezing outside. Come on in. Oh, man. It did not get any warmer up. What do you mean? I don't understand what you mean it didn't take. I apologize to her and she didn't want to hear about it. She didn't even let me get the words out, to be honest with you. I didn't even get a chance to apologize. I was, I'm so, and that was it. What do you mean? She wasn't even listening to she you? She didn't want to hear me even say, yeah, let me just get a beer. We'll talk about it afterwards. Do you believe this? So, when you went home, did you text her before you went there or did you just Show no, I, I didn't think to text her. I, would, I, would, I, would, I would know, have thought text her. I didn't, I didn't text, I didn't think text her. I wish that you should get that idea. Did you wake her up? You should have had an idea beforehand. She said, hey, we should text her before yeah. we go home. But you were so quick to get me out of here. Well, you could have thought matter. of it too. Did you wake her up? No, you should. I probably did. I mean, it's late as hell. Dang. Dang what? I mean, what do you want me to do? No, I know. She's just not here, dude. I didn't even get inside the house. Barely. Like, I was like, and she's like, oh, and I was like, oh. Let me just back up and just let me slow my roll Dang, a little bit. Joe, I didn't. It's put you I in an awkward spot. I thought for sure that it would be. Put you in an awkward spot. I'm sorry I put you in an awkward spot. I don't mean it. But it's her. She should apologize to you, not me. It's not my fault. If I was the one, I would let her come back in. Because I'm a forgiving guy. No, I can't believe she didn't even. She didn't let you talk. I, I, you stay like here, at right? least my wife let me talk to her, and then she let. Well, she's reasonable. We get married a lot longer than we have. We're still like, we're only ten years in. Well, what did you do so bad that that you can't be? Doesn't a hear nor there, Larry. You can't even talk about. It's and not even here. Did you say there. you wanted to apologize for whatever you did? I said I'm so, and that was the end of the conversation. So you didn't even get it out. So you didn't. No, you didn't, I didn't say you're first sorry. You said out. I'm so. I'm so what? I'm so sorry is what I was trying to say. <laughs> you are sorry. I'm telling you that right that's now. That's not very nice, dude. That's a, no, well, that's you a, said I'm so. Didn't didn't he just say I'm so? Like, no, like I, you should have got out the words. No, I'm just, sorry. It was more saw than so. I mean, because you wouldn't say it's not so me. Did it's you say sorry. to her like, can we talk? Because that's what I said when I came home. I said, no, I should. Home? You should give me all this advice before I freaking left the house. Like, you know, I mean, not now, you, now, now you're a freaking genius. How do you not know how to apologize to somebody? Everybody knows how to apologize. Why are you yelling? Do you want to get kicked out of the house again? Well, you're sitting there saying that I should have gave you advice. Like, you don't know how to apologize You've been married way longer than I have, and I feel like the people that are married longer should give advice to people that haven't been married as long. I mean, how long have you been married? 30 years? 45 years? It's going to be 30 years. 30 years? That's a long freaking time, It is dude. a long time. That's like three decades. It is. Do you know what happened 30 years ago? Like, there wasn't even cell phones back then. It's don't, ridiculous. Don't even start on about how old I am, all right? I'm just, you're old and bald, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. You, I'm, I'm okay. trying. To, I'm trying. Yeah, to, I know. I'm trying to get you to good. I'm but in all seriousness, I know it's gonna be awkward. I know you have to have a conversation. I'm not even talking have. about that. It's like when you go to apologize to somebody, you can't go. I'm so, and you didn't even get it out. This is great freaking information to have before. Why couldn't you? You should have just been like, "Can we talk?" I. You should have kind of told me that before I left. Yeah, fine. You were just like, well, hey, now I'm between leave. a rock and a hard place. I'm gonna go. I'll talk. I'm sorry. To her. I'll talk I'm to sorry. Her. I'm sorry. I'll see if what she has to say. I don't know. Just, I'm sorry. I didn't want to have to have two conversations. I know, I get that, and I apologize. Uh, Dad? What? Are, are you sure this is a very good idea? What do you mean, a good idea? What's he going to do? Sleep in his car? I'm not sure he's got somewhere else to go, doesn't he? Come on, Tommy. Burned all his bridges already. You saw the places that he came up with. He can't stay. The last place was a barn. I mean, what's he supposed to do? I mean, Uncle Bob did say he probably could stay in that house. Has he tried that? Look, it's late at night now. It's almost midnight. I'm not going to send them back outside. I'm going to talk to your mother. I'm going to see what she says. You know what? It's her house. It's my house. It's not your concern, Tom. I'll take care of it. Simple. I live here too. Oh, well, you look comfortable. Hey, yeah. What's up, Tom? Reclining a little bit. 
so didn't take, huh? Mm -mm. She did not want to hear anything I had to say, that's for sure. Yeah, that's gotta suck. Yeah, it's very I mean, what did you try to say to her? I mean I let her know how you know how sorry I was for what happened and uh you know, just that it wouldn't happen again and you know, just stand and talk, Tom. I mean, no, I, like, yeah. what was your inflection with it? Were, did you sound I, like that when no, you were I talking to like, her? No, 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 no. I, I felt like I said like I was empathetic and I cared and I was really remorseful. I mean, because, you know, I am. I would love, love to be back in my house. I think it would be the best scenario ever. But, unfortunately, you know, she wasn't having it. Like, I came in the house and, and, you know, I got a chance to talk to her for a little bit. And we sat down and we had a conversation. And she was just like, look, I'm not ready. She wasn't ready. And... You can't rush a woman, Tom, when she's not ready. It's just a fact that matter. I mean, I can, I can believe that. It doesn't really sound like she was in a rush to get you out, like it made it sound, but. Nah, she wasn't having it, dude. Like I said, maybe I should have texted you before I got there. Like maybe your dad was right. Maybe I should have done that um, and gave her a heads up that I was coming home first, so she'd be emotionally prepared to have the conversation. I just think that she was wasn't ready to have that conversation right now. You know what I mean? Like it's. It is late. Midnight, I'm going there, you know what I mean? And she, I don't think she was ready to have a conversation. I, I should have texted her and let her know I was coming home first. Um, but, I mean, I, I, once I got inside the house, I figured once I was sitting down having a conversation with her... Oh, you actually managed to get all the way in the house? N not really in the house, in the house. It was more in the foyer. Um, we had a conversation, but I feel like maybe if I had given her a heads up, we could have gotten, I could have gotten in the house. That's what I was saying. I mean, yeah, but you did just say that you were about to sit down. Yeah, but I, in my mind, that's why I want. That's why how I pictured it. That's how I imagined it to happen, right? So, I, if I would have texted your head, then maybe I could have gotten into the house. That's what I was saying. Maybe I could have gotten into the house and sat down in the living room and had a conversation with her. But we were talking in the foyer, which right up the steps and to the left is the boys' room. So if they're all sleeping, she probably didn't want to talk to me because the boys were sleeping. I don't want to wake them up. I feel like if I talk to her tomorrow, I feel like we'll be, we'll be okay. So you plan on talking to her tomorrow then? I mean, I hope so, as long as she wants to talk to me. But I feel like I'll text her before I go over there, right? I feel like that's the best idea I can do. Well, I mean, yeah. Giving somebody a heads up is usually a good idea. I just don't, I mean, you know, it's... It is what it is, Tommy. Yeah, you know, I don't really know people's habits, so, I mean... Yeah, and you're not married, so you don't get it. It's really, it's really, you know, you have to, you kind of have to walk on eggshells, you know what I mean? You have to be kind of cautious about things. Right, Almost I mean, like, did it seem like she kind of just, like, woke up out of a dead sleep when you got there, or was it more like... I don't think she was sleeping because the TV was on, um, but I just, you know, like I said, I, I just don't think she wanted to hear from what I had to say. I don't think she, I mean, I, you, you know, I went in there and I was like, hey, you know, let's have a conversation. She said, okay, I'll listen to you, and, you know, I told her that I was sorry for what I did, and that we've been on the, you know, we've been out out to the house and we've been staying in different places. How sorry did and you she, say you were? I was very, I told her I was very sorry, Tom. And when you say very, very it means sorry. you really mean it, right? And I was telling her how we were staying in a barn and we were living, you know, in a basement and this and that. And uh, you got a big conversation with her, didn't you? No, it wasn't a big conversation necessarily. It was, I mean, it lasted like a, not very long, just a minute or so. I mean, I didn't get in the house, really. I was almost, I was outside talking to her. Mm -hmm. Um, and it just it just didn't. So what? Like she was standing in the foyer. Where is your foyer? Front, like front door, back door? No. Why would I go? We we talking about like sexual positions. I mean, front door, what? back door. I'm a front door guy. Houses typically have more than one door to get in. Like yeah, but how we have a back door right use? there. How many doors do you use to get in the house? I use the front door. It's my house. I own the house. I don't I use know. The front maybe, door. Maybe we would have gone to the back door so that you know. I only go to the back door on like on my like anniversaries and stuff like that, like special occasions. Oh, hardy har har. You know, <laughs> I, it's not even funny. I shouldn't even be making jokes. Uh, you know, I was hoping that she'd be open. Everybody else got in the back of their house. I figured, all right, this is the end of it. I can finally get back in the home. And even if I slept on the couch, it'd be okay because then I at least be inside the house. But she just wasn't having it. She really, I mean, it really didn't go over well at all. Didn't take. It didn't take. It didn't take, Tom. It, it hmm. didn't take. I feel like that you're grilling me here. Why are you grilling me? I'm not grilling you. There are grills I, over here. Like, we're getting I mean, stranded you, in the yeah, middle the, of the nowhere. lounge. It's, our entire phrase is lounge, chill, ball, and grill. Yeah, yeah. Let's just relax a little bit. There it is. Oh, it's better. No, I, like I said, I, I, you know, I really want to be back in the house, and, and I don't like staying here or staying in other places. I just want to... Wait, you don't like us anymore? 
I love you guys. I just hate imposing on you guys. I feel like that I'm constantly imposing, especially on you. Like your dad, not as much, but I feel like that you really don't like having me here. I'll be 100% honest with you. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Um, and I understand I it. That. I understand it. It's your house. I get it. There's a third or fourth person here. I get it. It's a big deal. I get it. Um, but without four wheels, you can't drive a car, Tom. I mean, you know, with three wheels, it's a tricycle. And you're not going very fast with a tricycle. I'll be honest with you. No, but can't you still go fast with two wheels? Yeah, two wheels you can go fast. But you can go fast with three wheels, but you just can't take a turn sharp because then you'll tip. But if you have four wheels, then you can take those turns and you can, you know, you can keep on cruising. Like, there's no bit nobody's business. Sure, but can't you also take sharp turns with a single wheel vehicle? I've never ridden a unicycle, to be honest with you. I don't know how they handle. I mean, I've ridden a bike, but not a unicycle. Have you ever ridden a unicycle? I've not. Do you know how to drive a unicycle? No, I, I actually Do you like, drive it or do you just pedal it? I don't even understand how a unicycle works. There's no steering wheel. You just yeah, that's actually a seat. really good question. I don't really uh, know how a unicycle works. If you lean work. forward, it'll go forward. I, don't, I mean, I don't know how. Maybe you kind of lean and it turns. I feel like that's how it works. Can you ride a bike without your hand in the, the, the handlebars? Can you drive it without no hands on a bike? I mean, Freddie Mercury could. Freddie Mercury could, you're right. I tried once and I fell over. Oh, Joe. 